Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video doing a full review of the latest MF9 update on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S4. This update has included a bunch of different uh, features, new features, so I'm going to go ahead and go over those now. I have a video showing how you can manually install the update if you don't want to wait for the over-the-air update to come. I'll link to that in the description of the video. So first of all, I want to go ahead and go into settings, go to more, go to about device, and you will see software version says MF9, the last three digits. That's the latest. It is still Android 4.2.2. Now the first change I'm going to go ahead and talk about, it's probably going to be one of the most uh, popular. I myself am pretty happy that it is included. What you can do is go ahead and go into settings and then go ahead and I believe go to more and go to application manager and then you can swipe over and you'll see there's an option for on SD card. This update it now does allow apps to be moved to the SD card which is great especially for larger apps such as games, games being the main one. So. Uh, you can move those to your SD card. Uh, it's, it's great because if you have the 16 gigabyte variant of the S4, you don't have that much storage for apps. So now that you can put it on an SD card, an external SD card, you can go ahead and move the larger of the apps to, to your external SD card. I don't really have that many on my device at the moment. I need to install more, but you will see if I wanted to move Instagram over to my SD card, I believe I could just tap on it and then you will see move to SD card. It's going to take a little bit of time and move it over to your SD card, but then it'll go off your phone. Again, I don't recommend necessarily doing this with all of your apps. Just makes probably more of the larger ones, especially games. Games are the ones that take up the most. So you'll see it does have a check mark next to it on SD card, but it also gives you the size of each app. So anything, uh, 704 kilobytes, that's not much. Uh, megabytes is what you want, so 26 is somewhat large, not too bad. But there you have it there. That's one of the main things. You can move uh, apps to your SD card. You'll see down at the bottom, lets you know how many you have. I have a 32 gigabyte SD card on my in my phone at the moment. There's also the addition of Samsung Knox. I don't know if that's exactly an application. What that does is allows for more corporate security. It allows for you to separate user and company data with apps and network traffic, etc. Uh, you'd have to go through and I believe set up an exchange account to get Knox going. But again, that is now uh, included within this update. There's also uh, a small update that included, uh, you'll see the transparency of the, the top bar here. That's actually been updated so you can have custom backgrounds and it's still transparent before it uh, it did not have that transparency with custom wallpaper so they've added that also in the notification panel toggle they've added a smart pause button right there so you can turn that on and off quickly by that toggle you don't have to drop it down you can swipe all the way to the right and smart pause is there as well there's a new legibility setting you can go to my device and go to display and scroll down, you'll see increased legibility. I didn't notice too much of a difference when I turned it on. Maybe text will be a little bit darker. Black on white uh, text is a little bit darker. So I don't know uh, how much that really does help. It's, it doesn't seem like too big of a deal to me. But other than that, that's just about all the changes I did want to talk about. Again, the main one being moving your apps to your SD card. That is fantastic. That's a great addition, especially because Android 4.2.2 doesn't have that in their uh, code, I don't believe. So Samsung actually had to go ahead and go in and add that. So that's awesome. So that's about it. That would be your MF9 over the air update on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S4. Those are the changes. Let me know what you think. Also, if there's any other changes or things that uh, have been included that I missed, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. I might not have covered just about all of them. That's about all the ones that we know of at the moment. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. Please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.